Okay, so last time we talked about Scattershot, a toy that has a lot of flaws, and overall, its nostalgia just doesn't hold up. But today, we're going to talk about something else. A toy whose nostalgia does hold up much more. The Transmetal 2 Cheetor Mobile. Now, I really enjoyed the details on this figure, the cyborg and cybernetic bits, and the overall gruff and, like, grumpy, almost war-worn look to the Transmetal 2 Cheetor mold. It really looks like he's a sort of, like, almost a werewolf of some sort, but, you know, a cat? A werecat? Um, I really don't like the tail whip weapon, though, so I usually just keep it equipped on his butt, but it's here if you want to see it. His other weapon with his missile launcher is actually really cool looking, but I almost enjoy it more as a sort of jetpack on his back. But it's a really cool looking missile launcher regardless, and it's nice. The missile fires well enough, here it is, Killing Cobra Commander. Later on, the Transmetal 2 Cheetor mold was re-released and recolored as a Transmetal 2 Ravage, which appeared in the Beast Wars The Gathering comic and several um, club publication comic books. Overall, it always ended up being like one of the biggest holy grails of mine back when I was in beta. It's really nice to finally have it in hand, and I feel like the black saber-toothed panther look really works for this design, and the gold accents just really make it stand out. And yes, I, have, I do have the missile launcher for him, but instead I'm having him pull the saxophone here. I'd say that the one place this mold's articulation doesn't hold up is in the hand. They're not really easily able to be rotated, but you can mostly fit any 5mm weapons in there, and even some that aren't, you know, necessarily 5mm. So, it's, it makes up for its shortcomings. Size-wise, it still really holds up well with a lot of other modern Transformers figures. Here it is compared to the Voyager-class Tigatron. Now for the transformation, let's switch back real quick to the standard Cheetor version of the mold. It's actually a really simple and intuitive transformation. It's just a little more complex than the standard sit down and it's a beast mode. But it's really effective, and it works well. In beast mode, the feral and sort of monstrous nature of the Transmetal 2 stuff and lore really shines through, especially with Cheetor. He just really shows that it's some sort of mutated cyborg form. And it looks really good on, on either version of the character. Well, version of the mold, I mean. And as you can see here with the Voyager Tigatron again, it still scales really well with other cat bots that are being released today. Additionally, if you really want to mimic Ravage's look from the Gathering comic, you can do this. It looks a bit silly in my opinion, but you know, it's there, it's an option.
So, you know, overall, yeah. I'd say the Transmetal 2 figures, or at least the Cheetor one, are an older toy where the nostalgia really does hold up, and they're still really enjoyable to have and transform and toy with. So if you can find them at an affordable price, I definitely recommend you pick them up. 